everyone. Today I wanted to share with you guys some new bits that I picked up recently. It's an array of different items from different places because you know me, I don't tend to do like one haul of everything. I tend to just go to different places and buy one thing from each place. Seems to be my new thing at the moment. Although I do have a good few bits from Pull and Bear today. So that's the exciting thing. I do also soon have a Uniqlo haul coming. I know you guys love Uniqlo. Coming very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Because oh, I do love me a bit of Uniqlo. I do have one thing from Uniqlo in this haul actually. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. I haven't gone crazy. I'm kind of trying to stick to simple pieces that I know I'm going to wear time and time again. Um, especially as like it's colder now, but it's not winter yet. And I don't want to buy anything that's too heavily wintry in case I don't wear it. Slash, you know, I want to make sure that I'm buying stuff that I'm actually really into and really going to wear. So, we're going to jump in. I'm going to start with this bag. Um, I saw this. Did I see it on someone or I saw it on the Zara website? And I was like, do you know what? That that's, that looks like a bit of me. I like that. It's really cute. Um, it's essentially just a faux fur bag. I haven't actually used it yet. It's still got the stuffing in. But I thought it was really cute. I thought it would be a really good one for like evenings, winter, kind of dates. It's a good, like, very cute little bag. I think if you're trying to add a bit of colour, texture to an outfit, this is a really good piece to go for. Um, and I just loved this green colour. You guys know I love green, so um, I had to pick it up. It's the only thing I've bought from Zara recently. I'm not the biggest fan of Zara. Um, not saying anything's wrong with it, because they do some amazing pieces, but I'm... I see everyone wearing the same things and it, it for some reason it just starts to irritate me because I'm like, oh, you know when you buy something and you're like, I love this and then you see a hundred other girls wearing the same thing and you you think to yourself, hmm, maybe not. But I did buy this from Zara and I'm not saying Zara's bad by the way, I just, I'm just kind of bored of it, I'm kind of over it. So you, I say this now and then you'll see something from me and you'll be like, I thought you said you don't like Zara. <laughs> but for now I'm not really the biggest fan. Anywho, next thing, this is so exciting. So, as I mentioned, I've got a Uniqlo haul coming and um, I basically saw they did this collaboration with JW Anderson um, and I was like, oh, let me see what's going on here. Like, let me see if there's anything nice. And I saw this jumper and I was like, um, I'm buying that. It has sold out as of the last time I checked. If I can link it below, I will. But this is the jumper in question. It's a gorgeous, like, lightweight, thin knit um, cream jumper with this, like, grey, you've got the grey neckline, grey kind of stitch detail here, which is really lovely, and then, like, a grey stripe around the cuff. I just fell in love with the colours. I love cream, I love grey. I thought as a jumper, it's really, really lovely. I just love this kind of thick collar as well. I think that's really lovely. And I thought this would look really nice with jeans, um, trousers. It's a lightweight knit, so you can layer underneath, probably with a Uniqlo top. Um, but I just thought it was so nice. For a designer collaboration, beautiful. Um, and it was £40. Come on, it's so nice, like it's such a lovely jumper. Um, and I got this in a size medium, if you are able to get hold of it, or you're looking for it, um, I did get a medium, because I wanted it to not be too small and snug. I don't like jumpers that are snug, so I did get it in a medium. I do think like it's more of a fitted style jumper. Um, it's not designed to be oversized, so I did get one that was like, it's not over oversized, but it's, it's slightly loose, you know? Um, and I'm obsessed with it. Probably not one to show you guys because you probably can't get your hands on it, but I wanted to show you because Uniqlo always do really good collaborations with like designer brands or higher end brands, and they're usually like so good for the price as well. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you guys some Pull and Bear bits now because Pull and Bear do some really, really good bits, and I always, always forget about it. And then I go on the website and I'm like, oh, I like this. We're going to start off strong with this jacket. Now, if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you would have seen this. Um, it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but it's this um, varsity jacket. Um, and it's got a C on the front, which stands for Charlotte. I'm only joking. <laughs> I've done that joke before. <laughs> it says California on it, not Charlotte. But it kind of works, right? Um, but I loved the colour of this, I really like green, especially at this time of year, and this kind of deeper green is quite nice to change from the other greens that I have in my wardrobe. Um, and I love the kind of um, 
contrast with the beige sleeves i think it's the perfect color also great if you're a neutral lover because it adds a bit of color whilst still keeping it quite neutral so you don't really feel like you're wearing a lot of color obviously you've got the little um, splashes of yellow and um yeah it's plain on the back got a little bit down the side i think it's really cool and i think with the right outfit it looks really really cool it's just a bit of a change from maybe a bomber jacket a classic bomber jacket or um a short coat i just think it adds a bit of something different and i really like it and it's super weighty um for what it is i got this in a size medium i think because i wanted to be able to fit coats ja jackets jumpers maybe a hoodie underneath and i don't really like my coats to be too small either there's nothing worse and a coat being too small like I, I can't stand when a coat is too small so yeah i really like it and i think they did it another color but i've seen these everywhere um and i do think they're like a nice addition to your wardrobe if you're looking to add maybe like a bomber jacket or something that's a little bit more cool but still kind of simple and like i feel like these kind of jackets do tend to come back around quite a lot so you probably would get your wear out of it over the years to come Next is this little knit top. Now this doesn't really sell it, but it's essentially a long sleeve knit top. Um, and it's so lovely. It's just a really nice way of adding that slightly warmer element whilst being simple and classic and you know, you're not really going crazy, but it adds that extra bit of warmth, which I really like. And this is so nice. Like it's quite a good length as well. If you don't like things to be too long to tuck in or you just want them to sit, at the top of your jeans this is a really good one to go for if you're looking for something to tuck in then this is a no-go but i really like the style of it i like the knit i like the color i love the neckline as well i got this one in an extra small um i love it i think it's a really nice piece and i'm looking forward to wearing it a lot more um whilst on the topic of tops i got this now i've had to hold it back to front because i wore this on the weekend and it does need washing and um basically I haven't had a chance to wash it, but I need to show you guys this top because it's, you know when you put a top on and you think, this looks so good. Like, this looks good. This is one of those tops. And I wore it on the weekend. I went to Pergola and I got hit on by two guys. Two. In one night. And I didn't do anything. I was just standing there chatting to my friends. Fabulous. You all need it. Whether you're single or not, you need it. It looks really lovely. Um, so it's a really lovely slinky style material. It kind of has like a off-shoulder style look. Even though it looks like a strappy two-strap top, it kind of like cuts across here. You'll see, I'll pop a picture on because this is dirty. I'll pop a picture on the screen of what it looks like um, as best as I can if I have one of me. If not, it'll be the model because this is how many times do I need to say that it's dirty? <laughs> but it's such a nice top, really affordable. Like, honestly, I was like, I don't think I've ever loved a top as much. And you know when you put something on and you just feel good? It was great. Um, another piece from Pull and Bear is this scarf. I feel like this scarf has sold out since I got it. But um, they do these kind of scarves everywhere. And also they do have other colours as well. Um, but this is a nice, thick, cosy scarf in this gorgeous chocolate brown color i find scarves to be something that's really good to switch up your like outerwear kind of wardrobe if you will because if you're someone who owns like two coats which is quite normal sometimes the best way to make your outfit look different each day is changing up the scarves the hats the gloves the you know the outerwear pieces so that yes you might be still wearing the same coat every day but a different scarf or a different hat can judge it up and not make it look so samey so um this is really nice i know they do a cream one they probably do a green one actually but i think scarves are something you can easily like switch up and not have to spend a ton of money on while still like you know looking different and changing up your outfit so i love this really nice and then the last thing from pull and bear i got is this knitted dress in this like beigey oatmealy color what size did i get this one in got this one in an extra small i will say it's kind of short um and i'm five foot four so you can gauge what you like from that but um it's not one to be like lifting your arms up in the street kind of thing but most people do tend to wear shorts and stuff underneath these anyway, so maybe it will work. Um, it's very lightweight, it's a very light knit, which I think is quite nice, you won't overheat in it, quite loose as well. Um, yeah, I just thought it would look quite nice with some chunky like tall boots, or knee high boots. Um, 
in the winter if you're going for that kind of like slightly legs out look or you could wear tights with it if that's your vibe um but i just thought it was quite cute and quite affordable as well because knitted dresses are hard to come by that are nice affordable that look cute do you know what i mean got some bits from arquette you guys love arquette every time i talk about it you guys just love it so i'm going to show you what i got this time i did try on this beautiful like beautiful coat i will pop a picture of it right here um i didn't buy it but i'm thinking about it it's a gorgeous like teddy style coat with a hood with a zip which i'm just so here for teddy coats never have zips they always have buttons um and i just thought it was stunning it was like 200 pounds so that's why i didn't buy it not because i didn't think it was worth it 1000 percent worth the money if you're looking for a coat like that but the only reason i didn't buy it was like do i need it <laughs> I was like, I'm going to think about it, and then I'll come back. But it was really nice. I tried on a size 8, I believe, and I loved it. And I would highly recommend buying it if you're looking for a coat like that. The hood was so nice. Um, you may see it in a haul in the coming months. Who knows? But I did love it, and I did very, was very close to buying it. Um, and then I got my hands on this jumper. Now, if you watched my last video where I did a bit of an Arquette haul, you would have seen that I bought this one. Now this is the mohair jumper, I can't remember the actual price, not price, the actual name of it, um, but this is the grey one, which I believe has sold out online, but it is always still in stock in store, um, always go in store to find these because they have loads of them in there. I have lived in this religiously since I bought it, um, I love the colour, I love the shape of it, you guys know when I love something I will wear it a lot and I have worn my grey one a ton especially on Instagram um it's just an easy jumper to go to looks great with everything so I was like okay well maybe I should just see what other colours they have and I got this one which is like a beigey brown colour which I don't actually own a jumper in this colour so there was a reasoning for buying it but also I love the fit of this jumper in particular I love how oversized it is, the sleeves aren't loose, I mean aren't tight so you can wear like tops and stuff underneath them, um, I just really like the fit of them so I got this colour, I thought this would be quite nice with like creamy tones, whether you wear cream jeans, trousers or like a cream coat, um, I also think that this kind of colour goes with lots of neutral tones as well so I think it's a really good one to go for. I think I got the price wrong last time when I spoke about this but this is £79 which isn't cheap but when I tell you these jumpers last so long and they look amazing 100% 100% worth the price I highly 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 recommend um, I'm very excited to wear it so if you follow if you don't really follow me on Instagram make sure you do because that's where you'll see me wearing it the most um, in the coming months when I shoot outfits and whatnot wearing it so yeah I got that then I got this top again this isn't really doing it much justice but basically I tried this on because I just loved the creamy colour of it and I don't know about any of you guys but I quite like tops when they're like a little bit sheer um, when they have that kind of thin niceness to them I don't know why I just kind of feel like they look very chic can often look quite expensive but not some people would say that they don't look expensive if they're sheer but there's just Sometimes you just have a vision. Anyway, I tried this on and I just fell in love with it. I just thought it was really nice. It isn't cheap at all, but I really like the way it fit me and it fit me tight. I really struggle with tops like this, like long sleeve tight fitting tops to often fit me tight because I am quite small. So it's kind of annoying. I always get like a bit annoyed when I have to buy a top that just feels a bit loose when you wanted it to fit tight. So when I found this, I was like, well, it's coming home with me. I think they do it in another color as well. Um, this was £59 and it's in an extra small um, and I just love it, I just love it, I've not yet worn it as you can see because the tag's on it but I'm very excited and it's also a good layering piece like it's a very good piece to have in my wardrobe especially for the autumn winter time and then in our cat I picked up some like accessory underwear -y bits, first up, oh let's not knock that First up, I got these socks because I bought a pair of shoes, which you will see in a minute. Um, and I thought these might go with them. They don't, but I thought these socks were really, really cute. Whether I wear them with boots or trainers, I just think they're, or even at home, they're just so lovely. They're like a knitted brown sock. They feel so expensive. Like, I put them on earlier to try them on for my new shoes, and I was like, oh my god, these are amazing. I don't know how much these were, 
but I love them and I think they're really nice and I think they'll be a good winter they're actually a really good winter boot sock if you're looking for some nice socks to wear with boots and um, because these would defo keep your feet warm and um, but I loved the color of them I just thought they were so sweet so those are my first accessory purchase from Arcare and then I got these bras bras bra tops um they're bras basically I don't know about any of you guys who have small boobs but I don't really like wearing bras in general but if I do wear something especially if I'm wearing like a long sleeve top or it's a bit colder or um something's a bit more sheer or I don't know I just want that extra protection it's really hard to find like nice pretty looking bras are really simple because I don't want anything super lacy because I just want it to be like seamless do you know what I mean anyway I found these bras in Arquette and now I'm obsessed and I'm gonna buy more um I tried on this one to begin with and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing this will look great underneath that cream top that I just showed you it kind of like does the covering while still shows the sheerness of the top which I quite like um this one is just like a triangle style and honestly I put it on and I was like okay what other colours do they have they didn't have a lot in store but I will probably buy some more online because they're just so comfortable easy to wear like soft against the skin great for like wearing with tight tops um, and they add that little bit of protection without needing too much and do you know what's so funny about these kind of bras I remember when I was younger when I was in like year 7, 8 maybe I don't know I didn't have boobs for ages I remember my mum coming with me to go shopping to buy bras and I just did not want to wear these like fabric ones I wanted to wear like a padded bra and now I'm back to like get the padded bras away from me I am not enjoy I don't even own a padded bra so um, yeah I got that one and then I also picked up this one which is more of like a little crop top style I've actually got one on right now which is black so comfortable so nice again just good for like layering under things more so than anything else they are really cute they do matching knickers as well but they were like proper like um briefs is that what we call them where they cover your bum not like fully cover your bum normal knickers that's the only way i can describe it um but they're not really my vibe and i just felt like i didn't really need them so i just got the tops but they do like different colors in them all so um and they also do the little triangle ones with like thicker straps as well if that's more your vibe so yeah i'm gonna purchase more they kind of give me like skims vibes on a much smaller budget smaller budget lower budget lower price point you know what i mean um the cream one was 19 pounds i believe yes it was and i personally don't think that's too bad um i find with bras and stuff like this they do get really gross after time so you do have to replace them um i've never owned arquette ones before i've owned ones from h&m and i've got one from h&m which i love all the time it's like my favorite one but it's so gross you know like when you wear white a lot and then it just slowly goes gray more and more gray yeah it's like that um anyway the last accessory thing that i got i think yes um it's actually from muji i've never been in, in a muji store before and i was on oxford street and i just was like oh, i'm just gonna pop in because i've heard their socks are really good and um i bought these socks two packs of socks they're essentially like a thicker version of a classic white sock although these are like a slightly more cream color these go perfectly with the shoes that i'm about to show you um and i just thought they were really nice i think they were eight pounds maybe for two um i didn't actually find the socks that were like really well known on like tiktok that i saw but i mean they're just nice socks they're really lovely socks actually so i'm excited about that and it's nice to have a few pairs of nice socks especially when you want to wear them like fashionably over like the practicality because i have plenty of socks for practicality but you know Sometimes you want some nice looking ones for fashion purposes. But anyway, talking of fashion purposes, I have two things left to show you. One of which is the pair of shoes, which arrived this morning, and I am very excited about them. Um, if your brain is thinking about what shoes they might be, you might have got this right. But they are... Da, 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 Birkenstocks. So I never saw myself as a Birkenstock girl, ever, ever, ever. I really am personally not a big fan of Birkenstock sandals. Um, they're not for me. I don't really like sandals, but I also don't overly love Birkenstock sandals. I just, I just can't get. They're just not my vibe. The more and more I've seen people wear these, 
the more I've wanted them and the more I've been like, I need a pair. Um, and me and my friend Meg actually both got the same pair, so we can be matching. We didn't actually, we bought them separately and then realised we both bought them. But anyway, um, these are in the colour Faded Khaki. Um, I originally wanted the, the taupe ones, um, but they're very hard to get a hold of. So when I saw these were available, I was like, I actually really like those. I love greens, I love kind of neutral tones, they fit with my wardrobe quite well. So I wasn't too fussed if they were a little bit more on the green side. And they are a little bit green, like there's no doubt about it. They're definitely more of a green than they are like a brown or a taupe or a creamy colour but they are so nice and I'm excited to wear them I tried them on with a pair of black jeans actually the outfit I'm wearing today and I was like that's quite nice I quite like it but they look really nice with those socks from Muji so I'll link everything below but yeah I'm very excited about them I'm just excited for the outfits I just think they're really cool my sister and her boyfriend both have a pair and they have them in different colours to these and I was like you're making me want a pair, you're making me want a pair. So I'm here with them. I don't know if they're like something I really ever saw myself buying before, but we're here. They are a bit of a fashion trend purpose, but Birkenstocks seem to be something that always, always seem to be in fashion. Whether it's the sandals, whether it's um, Birkenstock shoes in general, because they do a lot of shoes, they always seem to be about so I feel like it's worth investing in if you can find them in your size I will try my best to link these below if not I'll link something similar as best as I can or link a couple of different versions um, but I got these off the Birkenstock website for anyone who's wondering the last thing I have to show you is actually a few bits from Pandora if you guys don't know I am a Pandora ambassador I work with Pandora and I wanted to show you guys some new bits that I'm loving because I never really show my jewelry too much but I do have some lovely bits that I really want to share with you. Starting with my earrings, I'm going to zoom you in, zoomy zoomy zoom so I can show you properly, um, but these are little hoops from the Pandora Me collection, you have to get the hoops separate, um, but they're like little gold kind of square rectangle style hoops, um, and then I've added these little star charms to them, really really cute so you have to buy the hoop and the charm separately and the hoops only come one on their own so you do have to buy two um but i think they're so lovely i have these in like a silver as well and they're just a dream um and then this is a new piece which i'm obsessed with this is a really lovely chain and pearl necklace in this like gold color um i have one that's like a silver and pearl with like a chunkier pearl which is really nice um i'll link that one below as well for anyone who likes silver but this is just so lovely and dainty and you can add charms to it you can these little bits here open up so you can add charms to these little bits which i love i just think it's a really cool lovely necklace and also would make an amazing gift for christmas if you're looking early about Christmas gifts so yeah I love that my rings are all pretty much ones I've been wearing quite a lot recently um but just to give you a little close-up of them because I've not um I've got this chunky like this one's so lovely looks so much more expensive than you would necessarily think it was um this one's like a kind of looks like a few rings in one but it's not it's just one ring um and then I've got a little plain gold band with a little bit of sparkle on it and then this one has got little hearts this one's so cute i really like this one this one would be a really like nice gift for like a girlfriend or i don't know maybe a sister your mom that's really cute and then on this hand we've got a plain gold band then this middle one here this one here is probably one of my favorites it's like a um, infinity one but it kind of looks like hearts but it's also just quite dainty i really like it and then star one again another one of my favorites um this one's like a plain gold one but slightly different and then this one's another affinity one which i love i just love them and then there's a few new bracelets that i have to show you one of which is this gold chain here um really lovely again from the pandora me collection i love the gold of it i love the chain i just think it's really cool you can add charms to it i will link the other ones below as well this one's really nice it's got like a pull bit so you can like make it fit your wrist which i love plain flat chain and then this one's from the pandora id collection i believe um just a nice bangle love me a bangle and then on this side i've got the plain pandora bangle so nice 
again the flat chain but this one's in gold um silver uh tennis bracelet i believe you call this with these like gemstones in one of my favorites i kind of wear that all the time and then this one here is also a new one from the pandora me collection um in silver and they do a lot of stuff in silver so i highly recommend checking the bits out so that is everything that i have to show you today i will link everything that i've mentioned in this video in the description along with what i'm wearing this is actually an old arquette jumper um but i think i found a similar one so i will link that below um and again with all my pandora pieces they will all be linked below um if you want to see how i style all my pandora bits do follow me on instagram because that's where i wear it the most and i am loving the new stuff at the moment and i just there's so many good bits that I can share with you. So if you'd like to know more or see more about my Pandora stuff, then I can definitely do a video on like my Pandora faves if you'd be interested in that. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I have to show you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.